Hi, this video is on ethics. Um, we looked at this in class. I'm going to be referring to footnote one. And yeah, this subject I really like connected with. Um, I really decided that this is a massive part of what I want to have as a leader. Um, I really like to quote from footnote one. Um, it says, real leadership has less to do with making use of other people than with serving others. And that is from Malala Yousafzai, who's a Pakistani women's rights activist. And I thought that really <coughs> said in such a great way what ethical leadership is, is that it's not about using other people to fulfill one person's interests. It's actually about thinking about how you can serve others or how you are serving others. And that comes down to what that you, what your motivation is and whether you're, you're basing your decisions based on self-interest and on things that will, decisions that will affect and benefit only you or whether you're basing your decisions on affecting the greater good, footnote one. So, so I thought that it really did make a lot of sense that a leader would need to really look at this area of their life and actually think, okay, so if I make this decision, what what are going to be the what are the effects going to be? How many people will this affect? Is this is this making the right decision based on the greater good of all society? Yeah, so it was very it was very challenging also to think about that from like your own life and your own leadership and thinking, okay, well how can I make sure that I'm making decisions in a better way? And bringing that back to like my role as a business owner. Um, one of the areas that we have decided to make better choices in is in how we pay our employees. And so we are we looked into a concept and a movement that's happening at the moment um, based on the living wage, footnote two, and what it actually what a person should actually be paid to cover costs that that people would incur now based on like the price of food, the price of accommodation, and, and looking at things from having a quality of life, like a greater quality of life. And so we made the decision in our business that we would pay people within that living wage once they're trained up and once they're, once they're operating at full capacity, we won't pay them less than what the, the living wage is. And I think that was on our part, that was an ethical decision we had to make. Um, we could have chosen to pay our employees less. And in Nelson, they do have a thing called sunshine wages, which means you you can, as employer, get away with paying people less in Nelson than you could if you went to a bigger city, say Christchurch or Auckland. Or the standard here is much lower. So... So that was a decision that we had to make where we go, okay, do we want to make more profit or do we want to share around more of what we're making so that actually our employees are also getting like a, a percentage of what we're earning in a greater way. And we decided that that's the way we were going to go because we felt that that was the ethical decision to do. And so, but I can see that you are, as a business owner, like you're constantly faced with decisions on yeah, paying your employees. Um, tax. Tax is another one that a lot of people will ask you now, do you want to work under the table? And that's had to be, you know, something that we have said, no, we don't do that because, you know, once you start, where do you stop? And it's, again, it's an ethical decision that, that actually if you do that, you're, you are actually breaking the law and if you get caught, well, your whole, whole decision, your whole business could be ruined as well as 
your reputation. So that's another area of ethics. And also I think another area that is a, we've seen to be a great area of ethics is, is um, paying your bills on time and paying your creditors before you maybe took extra money out of the business for yourself because you can, a lot of people that we've dealt with will not pay on time. That's just not normal practice, but something that we've tried to adopt into our business is that we always pay our bills on time and that we believe that if we do that, then we will receive a blessing back from that. Yeah. So the other thing that I thought really summed up ethics and from reading through the chapters and was the word integrity and I have a definition here footnote three that integrity is the quality of being honest and having strong moral pr principles and it's also the state of being whole and undivided and I really I really liked that because I thought you know being honest and having strong moral principles is being integral but if we can cross that over into business, then, you know,